Hello there everybody. So today I have two Titan X's and two 980 Ti's on my table and I've run some tests to determine if six gigabytes of memory is not enough for high-end gaming at high resolutions such as 4K and if you really do need 12 gigabytes with Titan X. So let's uh, have a look at the results and I'll walk you through uh, all the numbers and what I found and also for anyone who wants to see for themselves I have some video footage that would prove that what whatever I'm saying is absolutely true so I will um, insert a clip at the end of the video so after I'm finished talking you can just stay uh, tuned and check that out as well and give me some feedback on that if you feel like it in the comments section below. So, main question, six gigabytes versus 12 gigabytes, because we all know, if, if you've seen some of my videos so far, that uh, these two cards, they perform with very, there's a very small difference in the performance at stock speeds at least. So what I've done was I overclocked them both uh, from 1000 base clock uh, to, to 1200 basically plus, plus 200 on the core plus 400 on the memory for both cards uh, which means that they're pretty much going to be equal anyway and if you see that uh, 980 Ti doesn't boost as well on the core, then that's the problem of the card itself. It has nothing to do with me tweaking a little bit and adding just a li little bit less on 980 Ti core. No, I didn't do that. They're, they, they're both overclocked exactly the same. So, with that out of the way, um, I will tell you what I found. And if you should be buying these or these if they're worth it so basically what I found that if you are gaming on uh, regular resolutions uh, I mean not regular 4k resolution ultra graphics with AA turned on but not too much I've started with a frame rate target of about 50 FPS 50 to 60 so that would mean uh, using FXAA or 2XMSAA, something like that. So when I've done that in Assassin's Creed Unity, um, it passed. Both of them passed, no problem at all in SLI. Uh, but the usage was anything between 5 to 7 gigabytes of video memory. So that was absolutely fine. What happened next um, is I went a little bit further to test uh, unlikely scenarios where people, well, I mean less likely scenarios, when people are cranking up AA to 4x MSAA or 8x MSAA and obviously that's gonna use a lot more video memory and that's where 980 Ti started to fail it failed miserably at 8x MSAA and Assassin's Creed Unity. It just stopped working. I mean, I have footage of that, so at the end I will show you that. It was showing uh, 2 to 3 FPS because it required over 11 gigabytes of video memory, which uh, Titan X used and was able to produce about 20 FPS. At those settings so there you go that is the only reason um, the only reason basically to uh, go for Titan X over 980 Ti is if you are building a super expensive system with three or four graphics cards to allow you to play at you know those kind of settings with 8x MSAA running on a 4K display. But um, at 4X MSA, 980 Ti is still kind of dropped a ball because I've seen some performance dips on the GPU load side. It was dipping to about 81% on 
which means that your gameplay is not going to be as smooth. Uh, it's going to be uh, lower minimum frame rates, which means that even possible stutters sometimes from time to time and just when the FPS drops suddenly, uh, that's when you don't see the smooth picture on the screen when you're gaming. So basically, even for XMSAA at 4K resolution is a no-go for 980 Ti. But if you're playing just with SLI, you would normally go for 2XMSA or FXA and you're absolutely fine with that. As I said, only for on, Titan X is for anyone who wants to go 3 or 4 way SLI. If not, the 980 Ti is still a very good solid choice. So there you go, and I didn't just test Assassin's Creed Unity, I also tested another game that is very demanding for video memory, it's Shadow of Mordor, and the same thing happened, same pattern, uh, basically I used um, 4K resolution, ultra settings, and 150% uh, uh, resolution scale, which basically is 6K resolution, and it used just between 6 and 7 gigabytes, both passed. But when I went up to 200% resolution scale in Shadow of Morda, uh, and it required uh, close to 9 gigabytes of uh, video memory, that's when, again, uh, Titan X passed and 980 Ti failed. But that's about it. I mean, if you want to see my proof, I'm gonna roll it after this video uh, so you can check it out. There's gonna be a side by side comparison. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you are new to my channel, that you know, you, you may be interested in checking out some of my other videos. And uh, click that subscribe button. But until next time, RG out.